Hello everyone, my name is Ken Kao. I'm the transportation sector lead from Advantech North America. Today I would like to talk about how we can leverage the industrial IoT and uh, AI technologies to really support the real data driven decision in the transportation, in the smart transportation systems. I want to start talking about and understanding about the urban challenge we live in every single day. Right, so the people uh, drive their car for the work every single day. They have to deal with the traffic congestion. The people doesn't want to take their car. They decide to take the public transit system. They worry about cross the street because sometimes the driver uh, doesn't see the pedestrian, and then they ha the the vital accident happen. The pollution challenge for the global um, environment. The pollution always the big topic, how to protect our plant, how to protect regarding for the, our environment, become more and more relevant to this whole transportation system. So we're dealing with this every single day challenge. But today's our infrastructure uh, is not able to support such as the large population, such large, you know, the, uh, the, the vehicle and the, the demand. Uh, on the road, right? So how we can renew, how we can rebuild the infrastructure in order to support next couple of years and uh, how we can foresee in the future, how we can build in the smarter intersection, the intersection and the infrastructure can communicate with the car, communicate with the, the people, communicate with the human, how we can do that and how we can bring the technology into the real life. It's become very, very important, right? So transportation evolution become very, very hot topic, how we can support this intelligent transportation system. The people talking about smarter, safer intersection, the people talking about more advanced traffic management system to adjust the, the traffic signal timing, to adapt into the newer timing system automatically, right? So, and even the people have the better um, management system to manage the entire fleet and uh, to reduce um, uh, reduce the safety concern, right? So a lot of evolution going on in the different transportation segment. But the fundamentally, that's a lot of technology behind that to support this new infrastructure. Building a new architecture to support larger and the scalable uh, the infrastructure, uh, infrastructure system. So inside for this, we talk about a lot of edge computing system. We talk about a lot of cybersecurity, how we can protect the people not hack into the, the traffic signal network, how we can protect um, uh, any um, hacker uh, to get into uh, traffic signal and even get into the traffic overall traffic management system uh, to jeopardize the people's life uh, in the intersection. We talk about the connect vehicle uh, connect vehicle system, right? Uh, vehicle V2X, V2I uh, system is a super, super crucial uh, to adapt the next, you know, important milestone uh, for the people, which is the autonomous, autonomous driving, right? So in the future, the people doesn't need to drive their car. They can just hop on the car and the car will drive you automatically to the destination after you put into the destination. Right? So how we can really build up this infrastructure to support a huge expectation and the demand uh, from, the, uh, from, the, from the population, from the people, from the human, uh, it's a super, super important, right? So we talk about so much technology, right? But I really want to focus on the three pillars, right? So the first pillar is really talking about how we can do the better job for the advanced uh, analytics, Right? So the data analytics is super, super important how you can get those large amount of the data become more meaningful to make a right decision uh, for your system. Right? And you also have the artificial intelligence system and the machine learning to provide a real time, instant, instantly decision and the notification uh, for your overall operation. So the machine learning and the artificial intelligence, you know, you can say pretty easily, but that's a lot of the, the, the technology behind to support uh, you know, neural network, machine learning, a lot of model to adjust the vibe into the real day-to-day uh, -day life. Again, they are the machine, 
but machine can be very, very intelligent. And then the other, uh, the other pillow we call a 5G, right? It's a 4G LTE, 5G is a big topic because every uh, single human and we want to download a, uh, download a movie within 10 seconds because we want that ultimate, we want unlimited speed, we want unlimited bandwidth, right? So you want to able to access just like quickly as possible, right? So it's become very predominantly, uh, you need to have the better network infrastructure uh, foundation to transport those data in between, I'm talking about earlier, machine learning, real-time data processing, and edge computing, right? So. It's, it's, it's also very important to circle back to the key initiative. When we have a, so much technology, we have so much challenge, but what's the key objective? We want to leverage those good, uh, those good things to support this, right? We really want to improve the safety. We really want to increase the mobility and the efficiency. And also uh, we want to reduce the environmental impacts. Those key initiative and objective, it's really back up what we are um, evolving the newer technologies to building the newer application uh, on the existing infrastructure to support a smarter ecosystem in the transportation system. So I just want to kind of highlight the fact that the key objective and the key initiative, it's really, really tied together with the older technology we are talking about here. So when you have the better data system, then you need to have the beta, uh, better model to do the analytics, right? You need to have the better um, system to run that and to improve operation, improve the efficiency. Big data, if you don't do anything, it doesn't do anything, right? But when you have the big data, then you're processing that, it's going to become more meaningful to trigger your decision wisely, right? So this is the perfect example. If you see how you can leverage the real video AI to bring in the real life. And you can see the video running here. Uh, it, it, and, and actually this is the driver cam, driver camera uh, to monitor uh, for the real driver to see what's the going on for, for his driving. And you can see uh, he's almost going to the wrong direction and uh, this one, this specifically uh, for the one, there is the uh, one way, but it's not the both way, but uh, the driver just going to that wrong direction. So the video AI can instantly to notify the driver and uh, notify the control center to notify, hey, you have to flee here in dangers. You have to take additional action or take precaution, especially for this driver. And you monitor for this driver behavior to understand how you need to identify the proper rule. When you do the proper employee training, how you need to regulate you know, the process, how to avoid that, right? So those data eventually is going to help uh, improve your efficiency and also improve your safety for your fleet. So the video, it's a very, very powerful. And not only for that, when you're thinking about video as a sensor, it's a one thing, but you also can leverage the LiDAR to detect about the 3D model surrounding the whole intersection, surrounding the whole vehicle. So the NVIDIA solution has to be a uh, dominate in this video AI technology player. And this is the ecosystem. And I'm, I'm so glad that we are part of the ecosystem with the NVIDIA and with a lot of the outstanding uh, software partner developer. They specially develop this neural network and the machine learning model to really fitting into the intersection for the video detection, fitting into uh, for the safety surrounding for the fleece, surrounding for the car, leveraging the LiDAR, leveraging the camera to bring those rich, meaningful data uh, to the platform to process that. If we don't have those technology, even we have those data, it doesn't really do any good for us. So I'm really happy to see NVIDIA platform, our ecosystem, we leverage a lot of partnership to really bring a lot of the good, uh, smarter application in the intersection on the highway, 
uh, in the different ITS system uh, in the transportation overall transportation ecosystem. And I want to highlight, uh, you know, Atlantic. We've been working with the ITS market, working with a lot of end customer, like a Department of Transportation DOT and the city and the county. We leverage a lot of the the real uh, proof of concept experience to develop today's our product portfolio. We are not just the the the, the company provide a product. We are here trying to help this ecosystem to provide a meaningful solution and the solution to helping in the middle where to bridge from the communication to the edge compute and also working with the partner uh, to really optimize those data to do the data analy uh, analytics. So, so the overall authentic really be part of this ecosystem. We are so glad to be part of this community because this is going to help our life is better. It's a better quality of the life and improve our day-to-day -day, uh, uh, transportation system. So I'm passionate about this and I hope you enjoy the section for today, what we present here. Uh, and if you have any question, please reach out to me. My name is Ken Kao, I'm based in the US and I'm more happy to uh, um, to see you soon. Thank you very much. Appreciate your time. Hello, everyone. Welcome you join our GTC panel discussion today. My name is Mark Chen, Advantech iMobile Solution Product Manager. Today, it is glad that we invite two of our VIP partners to share with us their experience on in-vehicle AI solution. One is the CEO and co-founder from Amini Eyes, Professor Jin Ting Zhou. And the other is Jin Dong Zhang, who is the manager of Autonomous Driving Vehicle Section at Institute for Information Industry. Welcome, Lam. I will firstly introduce our Advantech solution first. Advantech iMobile Solution Group have been focused on in-vehicle market for over 15 years. We offer scalable performance product and flexible customization service to fulfill different kinds of application from on-road vehicle like bus, truck, utility free, emergency free, to off-road like heavy duty or agriculture machine, and also the roadside rugged edge computing application to complete a whole V2X solution. And most important, Advantech offers trusted and reliable hardware platform to help our customer to develop their software application to create value for their end customer, more efficient, intelligent, and safety. This is an example of Advantech fleet safety solution for bus. We provide reliable and high performance in vehicle display and computing box which equipped with not only the traditional free management feature like car power management, CAN bus, GPS, LTE, but also rich I.O. interface, which allows system integrators could connect to other peripherals like Wi-Fi AP for internet sharing, digital signage display for advertising and entertainment. And most important, the ADAS camera module or other uh, intelligent sensors like LiDAR to enhance the overall driving safety. System developer could also based on the CPU and GPU to make sensor fusion and their own AI algorithm to achieve their specific need as well. And all those data could be sent back to the cloud management system for further management and analysis. Track 60N is our most powerful in-vehicle AI platform. Its modular design makes it easy to uh, migrate to up-to-date RF technology like 5G, C2V2X, L, customized extended I.O. module. NVIDIA Xavier NX could help our software developer to make sensor fusion like IPCAN or LiDAR, and then implement their AI algorithm to enhance ADAS features such as traffic light recognition, road sign recognition, and vehicle object detection, etc. If users need an HMI as driver console, our proprietary Smart Display 2.0 port could also make it easy to connect to our rugged 7-inch and 10-inch in-vehicle display by single cable connection. From system po design point of view, 
just like other track product. Track 60N can comply with 5M3 shock vibration standard, which is almost three times stronger than MU standard 810B. Track 60N is EMARC certified, and our power protection and power management design make it can connect to 12V and 24V car battery directly. Automotive grade connectors make installation much easier and reliable. Whole systems are truly fanless. That is, we test it under full function with full loading without air flow condition. And if user need IP65 or M12 connector, Track 60N can, could also comply it easily by adding an additional IO cup. All these features ensure that Track 60N is not just powerful, but also can work well in harsh environment. Modular design makes Track 60N to be an idea in vehicle AI platform. Dual system design balances the, the overall computing bandwidth to make it can support both free management and AI application at the same time and also make it have the feasibility and flexibility to customize or adopt the new features in the future with longevity support. So, after a quick overview of Advantex Track 60N, let's see how our partner can base on our platform to help their end customer to solve what kind of problem and also create which kind of benefit for them. Let's see. Hi everyone, this is Ting. Chow from Omni Eyes, the CEO and co-founder of Omni Eyes. Uh, it's my great honor to uh, join this great event with one of our past, best partners, Advantec. And uh, Omni Eyes is founded uh, three years ago. Right now, we have 30 uh, employees, full-time employees, and half of them are um, AI and the data engineers. And most of our customers are commercial fleets including uh, logistic fleets. Uh, one of the largest fleets, uh, Pelican Express in Taiwan, is currently our uh, paying customers. And in addition to logistic fleets, we also have uh, customers from taxi fleets and also uh, bus fleets. And this is our focus, and we have domain knowledge in serving and improving uh, the safety and efficiency of all kinds of commercial fleets. Uh, in addition to this customer recognition, uh, we also uh, receive uh, plenty of awards, including uh, 2019 CES Innovation Award and also um, AWS Joint Innovation Center Award. And these are the proof of our technologies and how we use this technology to realize uh, in the real world scenarios. And before I introduce our solutions, uh, let's take a look at the current uh, solutions uh, on driving safety uh, really can improve uh, the safety or not. And maybe we can learn something from Taiwan's statistics. Uh, this figure on the right shows that the number of accidents uh, in the entire Taiwan is actually increasing, not decreasing. Uh, even with the introduction of all kinds of ADAS solutions. And this is very surprising to us. And we want to know the root cause of this very uh, interesting, uh, let me put it this way. And the right-hand side figure shows uh, the causes of all kinds of A1 accidents. In Taiwan, A1 refers to the accidents with uh, fatality, okay? And the cause that people are familiar with, including speeding and not keeping at the distance uh, from the front car, are actually uh, number five and number six in the list. And that means the area that the current ADAS is focusing is not the major cause of the accidents. And no wonder uh, such a solution cannot reduce the number of accidents effectively. So we, we want to know what are the top one or two causes. And surprisingly, those causes happen at the intersection. That includes not yielding at the intersection or not following the traffic signs. And so if we now understand the reason, and then we come back and take a look at this current solution in the commercial fleet management, including ADAS, 
including driver monitoring and also um, the solution to detect harsh braking, acceleration, or turning. And unfortunately, these are all hardware-centric solutions, meaning that their functions are fixed and predefined. And these standalone hardware solutions do not talk to each other. Right? So we all know that big data means big trash. So this standalone hardware-centric solution cannot provide actionable insights uh, to our customers. And I will give you an example. Uh, if a, as, a re, as a driver, when you receive an ADAS warning, how will you react to that warning? Okay, so maybe in the first uh, couple months, right, you, you, you react to that. But after that, you ignore it. Uh, I always use a joke, which is not a joke, it's a reality in Taiwan. Uh, most of the buses in Taiwan uh, need to give a, a beeping uh, alarm to the drivers if they speed, right? But if you ask any passenger in Taiwan, their experience is the beeping will go set off all the way and the driver just ignore it because nobody knows how the driver reacts to the beep, to the warning. And of course, it's not going to be effective. So how do we solve and fix the problem? And this is why we developed a visual-based violation detection, or referred to VIVID. That means uh, all of the evidence that we provided to uh, our customers are very clear and solid, right? And uh, we now can detect nine types of driving violation and parking violations. Here, I'm not talking about fatigue uh, or using a cell phone uh, for the distraction. Uh, we are detecting uh, the events that driver violate the traffic rules, which are very critical uh, to the safety. So right now, by using a single uh, monocular camera, along with compatible hardware, including Advantex hardware, we can de detect a red light running, we can detect a rolling stops, we can detect illegal left turn or right turn or wrong way driving, uh, in terms of parking violation, we can detect uh, parking at the red, uh, red curve, intersections, uh, designated bus stops, uh, and even pedestrian walkways. And why these events of violations are critical to our uh, fleet's owner? Because, of course, the first, the, exp the expense on the tickets, and if there are accidents, uh, there will be damage to the car, um, we'll have settlements, uh, to the injured, and not to mention uh, the increased insurance premium. And of course, right now, all of the big fleets, they care about the corporate image, uh, they, they care about their corporate um, social responsibility, and these are all related to ESG. Uh, by detecting these critical events, uh, they really can improve in all of these aspects. And here I'm going to show you a video. Uh, this is a real usage case and usage, uh, usage scenario to show how our Edge AI, along with Advantex hardware, uh, can detect those critical driving violations. And in this, uh, in this video, you can see that when a vehicle is approaching the intersection and our model detects a traffic light, the entire detection process is activated. So we will looking for the status of the traffic lights. Uh, in this case, uh, it's a red light. And then, uh, as you can see, the driver does not stop and just keep uh, going until making a right turn, which is a violation. Uh, so once it completes this violation, uh, our detection process uh, we'll conclude that this is a violation and the entire event, along with the 20 second video clips, will be sent uh, using 4G or even 5G network uh, to the control center of our uh, fleets. And then they can take actions or make it as a data input uh, for their driver coaching program. And so we believe to improve uh, the safety or the efficiency of the commercial fleets, uh, the commercial fleets, uh, you don't rely on a single solution or a one-step solution. You really need to have 
a so-called improving cycle here before the accident or violation actually happens. How many guards in the driver care can provide warning to the drivers uh, to let them know, hey, you have to behave well, right? To behave well. However, here comes the important things. If they don't react, the Vivid will record all of those violations and then send to our customers' driver coaching platform, which is also provided by OmniEyes. And from there, and they can do whatever their management needs with actionable insights and data. And our customer has shows that by using our solutions, they already reduce 80% of the rail line running. And that means saving a lot of lives, not just the drivers, but also all of the people on the road. And with this immediate and measurable ROI, and they are willing to invest more on these solutions. And that means more business opportunity for us and all of our partners. So I use our customer Pelican Express as an example. Right now, they want to uh, add Omni guards to their fleet because right now they are only just using Vivid. Uh, so this is really uh, a workable and feasible and effective cycle. Uh, and all of the partners in this cycle are the winners. Thanks for listening. If you have any question regarding our solution or product, please feel free to contact us or our great partner, Ventech. Thank you very much. Hi, I'm Jun Dong, manager of Autonomous Driving Vehicle Session of Institute for Information Industry. The topic presented today is AI does for commercial vehicles. In this topic, AI does for commercial vehicles developed by SSS AI vehicle perception technologies are integrated in Advantage Roger Air Platform using NVIDIA JSON series. By using this system, AI does can effectively give a warning call to drivers under complex weather conditions and driving situations to protect pedestrians and cyclists. In this vehicle, here is a real situation in Taiwan traffic. Commercial vehicles such as bus, truck, and trailer have lots of driving risks in blind spot, especially on difference of radius between inner wheels and in AAP areas. Lots of motorcyclists and pedestrians at accident are caused when cross the road turning. Until now, the situation of conventional vehicle accidents are getting worse. In this page, I will introduce uh, the difference from ADAS to AI ADAS. A tra tra traditional uh, ADAS we can see from 1.0 to 2.0. They depends on the human perception and the partially uh, computer vision based camera and the radar system to detect the surrounding objects. But in generation 3.0, we call AI ADAS. We use AI technologies on cameras and uh, computing platform to precisely detect the surrounding objects and give under uh, complex and uh, traffic and the uh, weather conditions. In this page, Formula data set is de divided by III. Formula data set includes 100,000 kilometer coverage, including 17 counties in Taiwan, three view. Also including four kinds of sensor sensors, including RGB cameras, thermal cameras, radar and the LiDAR. Also include 150 classes, kinds of vehicles, kinds of traffic sign, kinds of traffic light, kinds of tail light. Also we collect and label 40 million objects with kinds of weather, kinds of uh, obstruction angle, kinds of light, shadow, and kinds of driving situations. In this video, we can see uh, the right side is trained, uh, the, the AI perception model is trained by Formosa data set, uh, can effectively and precisely detect uh, the object under uh, day nine, different kinds of uh, uh, light, light conditions, raindrops, and uh, complex traffic flow. Traffic flow. Also, 
can effect, effectively precisely, precisely detect the trichome and the jersey barrier. In this system, Triple-I's AI does, using Formosa dataset, is collaborated with NVIDIA and Advantech. We integrated our AI ADAS into NVIDIA JSON based Advantech AI modular platform and then deploy it to commercial vehicles. As you see, there are five warning areas which are forward collision warning to recognize four VO and two VO vehicles, pedestrian and riders. APR collision warning and the blind spot warning to recognize two wheel vehicle, pedestrian, and riders. In this video, we deploy our AI dust to an electric bus for system verification. In this verification, AI dust integrated with vehicle control unit. In the first phase, the AI dust will push a warning to the to driver when objects driving in yellow or orange warning zone. In the second phase, AIDAS will give an automatic emergency braking signal to stop the vehicle when driver ignore the warning and object driving in hard day zone, which we call the red zone. Here is the uh, FCW system on analog HD camera using Triple S AIDAS. We can uh, clear to observe uh, under this uh, noise condition, low, low image quality, we can still uh, precisely can uh, detect uh, this object. Also, BSD system on analog HD cameras using our AI data system. The performances of AAA's AI data under 2,400 hour driving is shown in table one. In this table, we want to highly present it our blind spot detection performance. We can observe that the warning precision and false discovery is superior on the day night with all without rainy. In 2400 hour driving, the driving paths and area, including urban and country roads. Also, our ADAS completing performance on the NVIDIA JSON series is showing table 2. We can clear up the Xavier and Xavier NX can achieve more than four cameras of AAA's AI ADAS in 30 frames per second for real time. At last, Triple S AI does for commercial vehicles was collaborated with Taurian City and deployed to Taurian electric buses for verification and services last March. Also, our proposed AI does is awarded by ITS Society of Taiwan for ITS Industry Innovation Award. In the ne next stage, our AI does is still developing with different kinds of sensing device devices such as a thermal image and 4D image radar to form the next generation of multi-center fusion AI does and the level 3 to level 4 autonomous vehicle. Thank you. Thanks for our mini eyes and triple eyes great sharing about their solution today. We at Vantec believe that we cannot fight alone. We must team up together and co-creating the future of the AIoT world with our partners and ecosystem. If you are interested in our solution, please come to us and let's work together to get creating the value to the world. Thank you. Hello everyone, I'm Kunong Chen. I'm at the Bentai Global Orientation Business Development Manager. Today, I want to go through AI success stories in transportation sector. Intelligent transportation system are the control and information system. They use integrated communication and data processing technology for the key objectives. First, improve the safety, reduce the traffic congestions, and manage incidents effectively. Second, increase the mobility of our people and goods. Next, meet transport policy goal, such as the public transport priority management. Now, we use new technology, such as smart traffic line and traffic control system, AI technology and the telematics and automotive technology. And it can contribute to prevent and reduce the number of roads related to incidents and improve road safety. Mobile network and fast data transmission solutions, such as the 5G and the fiber network, 
can be used for instance to collect data on vehicle, on the road, and the condition of the road, as well to provide real-time weather information and warnings, unlimited with the objective of reducing accidents. In those new technology, AI is the key driving force. AI is impacting everything around us from the manufacturing to the healthcare, surveillance and transportation. And companies are turning to a deep learning to solve difficult AI problems, which cannot be solved by traditional machine learning approaches. However, deep learning based on the convolution nucleus networking can through the enhanced computation power. Same to high performance GPU computing, training server can be new handle huge data set from the field to produce every better train data models every day. After deploying train models, edge inference system can be leveraged the GPU to make inference accuracies and prediction in real time possible. Advantage provide one stop service for edge to crowd and the implementation of AI application with Edge AI suit software together. Advantage will be your best partner to accelerate transportation business development. From business strategy, Advantech have deep analysis in regional AI market and applications, such as the traffic control system and surveillance in infrastructure monitoring, and traffic flow and the fair recognition. In region, Advantech collaboration with the local AI strategy partners to engage in government transport department, IT department, and the transport operators in order to work out complete solution offering in deep. In transportation system upgrade, IT department or initial project idea and system concept in order to achieve the goal. Advantech is the key player and the partner in transportation ecosystem. From marketing, community engagement is imperative for AI success. Advantech joined a media elite NPN partner to promote our success with the partners together. After our study, there are two major and new applications in AI mega trend. One is the traffic control in smart city. The other is the autonomous. Intelligent transportation management system is the AI-based application coupled with a camera installed at a traffic junction, which provides a tool to detect and identify vehicle, do not follow the traffic rules, and generate real-time alert in the central command center. It can automatically generate the abandoned of the parallel of the land and can send it electronics to the routers. ITMS system can be integrated with the existing CCTV system and the traffic control system to provide a proactive solution how to preventing the current traffic measure. Not only this, various AI-based traffic analysis can be deployed over the existing traffic enforcement and surveillance system also. With the minor tweaking adjustment resulting in high optimized solution, and low cost to the public transport department. In mass urban, it leads to numerous problems in terms of transport, economy, stability, social security, energy consumption, and the environment. To address those challenges, they need an intelligent IoT solution for conducting the real-time monitoring for local conditions, such as air quality, road traffic, and the video surveillance data. The collect big data will be used for subsequent analysis, deep learning, and apply AI model in edge to provide action available feedback and insight for optimize the city's smart capability. Advantage provides a comprehensive IoT solution for integrated city environment monitoring system, which includes wire and wireless networking, edge computing for instant inference and analysis. The data is also transferred to a deep learning GPU server for integrating big data and optimize the device productivity and the intelligence. We launched the IoT solution with partner in Beijing. 
Adventure is the leading branding in China. They contribute the domain in the industrial solution market by offering high quality products and technology enterprise. Adventure IoT solution was selected not only because the spec meet the project requirement, but also because Adventure wide range of products for edge sensing, computing, connectivity, and server storage provide a comprehensive IoT solution architecture. The provision of an all-in-one solution reduces the system in greater time, enabling the customer to focus on the application development and implementation. Second success case is related to traffic signal control system. Traditional detection machines like ultrasonic, microwave radar, and the infra sensors either cost too much to deploy or lack of necessary recording detail. Video detection system can be overcome lost disadvantage and can with AI generate essential traffic metadata. Information such as vehicle numbers, durations, waiting times, and so on. Customers can also easy to upgrade using the existing CCTV equipped with the edge-based AI system. It is the revolution in traffic monitoring. The AI traffic monitoring solution, including the step effective traffic light system, edge AI system, and backend AI inference server, all integrate into a carefully designed data flow. The Edge AI system grab video stream from the IP camera and then analyzes the content using the inference. If the traffic monitoring is complete at the raw site, the raw data will be transmitted back to the control center room. The AI inference server leverages high processing power to meet the master inference processing requirement and to be able to analysis the set of the metadata via pre-trained deep learning models. Then, the set adaptive traffic light can be managed from the traffic center control system. Advantage deployed the solution in USA. In USA, NEMA TS2 is the standard for traffic control assemblies, such as the traffic light, emergency road condition sign, and the walk don't walk size. The standard is designed for the manufacturing to meet or exceed a set of a minimal requirement, such as the operating mid minus 34 to the 74 temperature range. A Dementia designed product based on NVIDIA JSON platform to comply with the NEMA TS2 regulation. Autonomous is a vehicle that capable of sensing the environment and navigating without a human input. To achieve next generation mobility, the client, a new owned autonomous vehicle technology company, want to deploy a vehicle equipped with the self driving technology in order to redefine the in vehicle experience. According to the company contact at the to cooperation on the deployment of a solution for accurate environment sensing. The hardware component of an autonomous vehicle are similar to the part of the human body. They allow the detection and the interaction with the outside world. Environment sensors are the components that allow autonomous vehicle to take in raw information about the environment in order to analyze and understand the surrounding environment sensors must be supported by high-performance machine vision technology and intelligent hardware. Autonomous can handle the whole task of driving when we don't want to or cannot do it ourselves. Fully automatic car and truck that drive us instead of us driving them will become a reality. No self-driving vehicle will integrate onto the roadways by possessing the through this level of a driving assistance technology advancement in the coming years. A city government in China implement a autonomous BRT with assistance from the Advantech and the manufacturing of the consumer vehicles on the mainstream of the city in an effort to become a smart city.
enable you to smart autonomous your driving. The project takes the label for autonomous bus as a core to build an integrated 5G and the B2S intelligent bus system. The solution realizes the integrated construction of the vehicle, road, network, cloud, and law, and build a new generation of intelligent network transportation system. The implementation of overall solution enables citizens to enjoy fast and better travel service. Among them, the traffic efficiency and intersection have increased from the 47% to the 79%. The average waiting time and traffic light has been shortened from the 70 seconds to the 2 seconds. And the average operating speed has been doubled. Citizens travel more punctually and can arrive at the station accurately to the second level. And the waiting time is greatly decreased. In addition, the project implements mobility as a service and has been realized the mobile phone car hailing service, which can be better serve the citizen travel. This is a Kun Hong Chen. Thank you for participating in this session.